Today we are talking about back pain in general, but also with magnesium as a subtopic. Um, the back pain is typically a problem of inflammation. Um, and so there's a structural thing there too. We can have deficiencies which are contributing to that loss of integrity in that structure. Deficiencies of magnesium, which are encoded in all of the structure, like a lattice, almost like a crystalline lattice that allows for a better electricity, a better conduction, a better um, distributed executive, meaning better antimicrobial. That's what magnesium does as a molecule. All of these type of features are well spread instead of just having police officers and macrophage as your only line of defense, you have your defense built into everything, including the structure. But also, more importantly, for flexibility. The flexibility of that structure is going to allow for the, the muscles to be much more, I mean, kind of imagine like, you know, an iron cable and then you attach like rubber band to it, you know, to give it a little more bounce or whatever. So this is the magnesium's effect. And that's allowing for, that changes, it. it's the game changer. It's the game changer in inflammation and in every other thing that causes uh, back pain. Now, back pain is also a blood thing, just like all of these types of circulatory problems. The blood, you know, that's why like ibuprofen or something is going to help because it's going to thin the blood. Now, what's the best known, one of the best known blood thinners, natural blood thinners is magnesium. So that's well known, but without the negative side effects. So magnesium can um, uh, it does re uh, help the blood. I mean, this is famous study that they did for diabetes and, you know, how it, it removes the platelet capacity, like allowing to the, the overproduction of platelets to where the blood is not so sticky. It allows it to flow in a smoother way. It thins it out naturally, and that's going to help with the pain. So you don't want your blood to be too sticky, too sugary, without enough minerals or anything because then it, it throws off the balance. It's all about homeostasis in the body. And so magnesium is the key not only to homeostasis in the blood, but also in, at the cellular level. So, um, also calcium deposits and calcium in all the muscles and everything. Magnesium is kind of the antithesis, not antithesis to calcium, they work together. It's kind of like your teeth. Your teeth are calcium and, and magnesium, but the magnesium get, makes them flexible and the calcium makes them strong. So they work together. It's like masculine and feminine, passive, active, soft, hard, whatever you want to call that. But so, um, that, um, high quality magnesium in high quantity uh, taken daily um, but through the skin to where it's a safe way to take it without triggering anything in the kidneys without um, creating insufficiency of the kidney function over time which is hard to see and detect sometimes if it's not outright but in a society where we pretty much are all hooked on coffee you can tell that the kidneys are not working in their normal capacity because if they were we wouldn't need coffee right like we would automatically have this what they call chi in in, in um, Chinese medicine the, the chi energy with the ancestral energy which comes through the kidneys uh, and uh, I think they say it comes up through the foot into the kidneys or whatever and it branches out or the hara, I think they call it as well in Japanese or and so this kind of idea, this central this centered part of us, this is where our energy is supposed to come from, this base, not from our central cortex, you know, nervous system where we can create energy, you know, because we don't because we're trying to compensate for the lack of real energy. So that's where coffee comes in, and it's a great whip for that. And but, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing in and of itself, but we've become dependent. So, so yeah, so that's going to play a part. Um, the calcium deposition and the magnesium not being prevalent to uh, keep that from happening, and even the way the mu muscles detoxify, and even at the cellular level, mag magnesium acts as a calcium channel blocker, a natural blocker, which allows the cells to stay flexible without over rigidifying through the incoming oxidating calcium and so you have to have this um, balance here that's struck and that's where the pain is coming through so not only does transdermal magnesium have a really powerful effect locally because you can apply it locally to the back pain or sciatica or other inflammatory slash blood slash pain type of problems um, the the local factor is a key feature because you can go direct and within 10 to 20 minutes it's not only in the bloodstream but it's passing through that area
So that's helping the lattice improve itself. Now it could take a long time to build that lattice up on the bone level, or, uh, you know, cartilage or other types of levels, you know, joints and things like that. But, you know, who said that, that the body regenerates every seven years, every cell is replaced by, after seven years, all cells have been re-replaced again, or re-replaced. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so that's a, an easy trick for back pain is to use this daily. Now, um, we used to go to these mineral rich waters, Greek and Roman times, and even in France, the thalassotherapy is still administered by the medical system for different types of pains, rheumatism, and back pain, and lung issues, and, and even skin issues. So this can all come back too. And this is all magnesium specific because these waters are rich in magnesium, most of them. Some have sulfur, but in, in general, there's a, there's a need for the magnesium in these waters. Like, you know, the origin of the bath culture was in a place called Magnesia in, in uh, Greece. So we're just coming back to these traditions and we're realizing we can't just overcome them through magic and technology. We have to understand the deficiencies in the soil and how hard it is to extract magnesium, even from our foods, even if we're in good shape, but especially with age. But even in good shape, we still hard to extract all that. So we use the organ of the skin, which is ubiquitous, which is primordial, and which can distribute, and you can dose up much more than you can internally because of the the ubiquitous nature of the skin, how, how much of it there is. And so sports people have figured this out, high-level sports trainers and stuff, they've figured this out. They use transdermal products all the time. But I would recommend going with the right stuff because if you get the wrong stuff, you're not getting the full spectrum. You're going to get just the magnesium deficiency covered, but you're missing all the chelation powers and the uptake powers that magnesium has with all of these uh, enzymes through the fact that it's non-refined, non-solvent extracted, non-chemically treated, and non-diluted. So that's hard to find. And so that's what we're offering you at theheartoftradition.com. The blue glass bottles, so it's in glass bottles, no endocrine disruptors, the real deal. More expensive than the, the, the cheap plastic imports that say the word Zechstein on them. They say genuine Zechstein or ancient or Permian or whatever they say. But if, if they don't have the Zechstein inside logo, it's not coming from the city of Vendam, which is where this original source is and only source. So get the right stuff. Come to heartoftradition.com and start today. Come see us. And there's a lot more free health tips and podcasts and everything over there. So be safe and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.